5,800 pounds, basically on the nose, the 257 Bunkhouse Freedom Express Asdell Ultralight. Back and better than ever for another season here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And this was already an extremely strong offering in the world of ultralight bunkhouse camping. But with some of the updates that they've put through recently here, such as carpetless slides, new options for bigger refrigerators, uh, enhanced storage solutions, improved camp kitchens, like a significantly improved camp kitchen over here. I think that this is now potentially uh, a, a nearly unbeatable kind of model. And one of the best parts of this floor plan is that it is what I call totally turtle friendly. And I don't mean the Teenage Mutant Ninja variety. What I mean is that when you're at your destination or if you're at a parking spot or a storage facility and you need to get through here without ever touching the slide with the slide completely closed, which by the way, is carpetless now, which is a killer update from previous generations, as is the ability to put in that new, larger, well, not new, it had been in Liberty Editions, but now available in Ultralight, the 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt uh, compressor fridge there. That thing is a beast. The biggest problem that we have with that is uh, we've had to turn them down because of freezing stuff in the refrigerators. But back to the traveling friendly point, you see that you can get through this whole thing without touching the slide, get to the storage, the bunks, the bathroom, the every stuff. Uh, you know, real, really handy for the family on the go, or if you just need to get it packed before you leave. And you're gonna find that as we go through this, there's a lot of qualities in this floor plan that I just absolutely love. I could totally see myself and my family kicking back and having a great weekend in one of these things right here. And then, you know, things like the taller six foot nine ceiling for extra headroom, bigger cabinets, taller shower, things like the lighter colors, the uh, uh, excellent lighting package, the big windows, the deep slide. It makes this little trailer not look and feel so little. Speaking of that, uh, speaking of not so little, if we take a look here, you can see that this also has a not so little guest sleeping space in addition to the bunks over here. And that's one of the other things that I like about it. If I ever get in the doghouse with my wife, I got myself a pretty dang nice size seven foot long by 42 inch deep bed over here that I could probably make do. And that's what's nice about that free floating elliptical table. It can, it can go anywhere and do just about anything. I mean, theoretically you could use it on the roof, but that's not safe and I wouldn't recommend it. But it does make it much, much easier to do some things like check out the storage in this dinette. So you have accent end lights on those bench seats. You have full storage below the whole dinette. And then something that probably costs maybe nothing is the fact that they just make their, their fascia panels on the back bench slide out of the way. And you see the little finger uh, pull on the other side as well. You can slide that either way so you don't really ever have any reason to have to tear apart the slides to get to stuff. And again, the completely carpetless nature of this thing, which was introduced last season only in the Liberty Editions, now available here again in Freedom Express Ultralight, they have made it so that the Ultralight series is pound for pound one of the best buys out there. And that is what's really funny about this model. This has a high equipment package. This has a lot of space, a ton of storage, loaded with amazing features. But the price point on these is extremely competitive to the point that it often falls in just a bit above what are often called stick and tin conventional campers. Now you can see there's a hanging rack on the right hand side, but those are adjustable removable shelves. And uh, so that you can really kind of control how much or how little pantry or hanging storage or whatever you might need. Now uh, over here we have that new optional 10.7 12 uh, volt compressor refrigerator that we talked about. And in case you hear some noises in the background, that would be Mr. Jody, our quality control agent over here. We pre-inspect everything before we accept it off the delivery truck here at Halid RV to help ensure that you have a positive camping experience right from the start. But basically, you can get a larger refrigerator now in here than ever before. It cools roughly at least four times faster. So if you're gonna be in a hot climate, they're absolutely awesome. They're totally traveling, safe and friendly. Uh, there's not a whole lot of downside to them. They're actually pretty darn awesome. Um, actually, a personal, uh, an employee that we have here at Halid RV um, is currently full-timing an RV with that exact same fridge. And that's where we get the info. He goes, I, I have a problem. I have to keep this thing turned down to like four because it keeps freezing my fruit. 
<laughs> which sounds pretty good if you're gonna put it in a blender and add some tequila, but whatever. All pocket screwed cabinetry, by the way. And you can see the nice hidden hinges in here. Now remember the taller ceiling also means taller storage. And this is a full wall counter to cabinet backsplash that you can't see because I'm pointing right at a window, apologies. Another cool thing is you can use those sink covers kind of like a side splash too next to that stove like I've done. But primary reason I pulled them out of the way was just to get to show you that stainless sink that we have inset in here below that high rise sprayer faucet. In case you're curious, there are two sets of power outlets under these overhead cabinets. They have to kind of do that because the walls of an ultralight RV are not quite thick enough to support a uh, wall receptacle. So that's just kind of one of those necessary things. Down below, you can see some decent shelving pots and pan storage. It goes pretty darn deep. And then of course above, the utensil drawer. A Halet RV nerd favorite, obviously a nerd preferred feature. Plywood full extension drawers over here. You can see the clutter cutting shoe garage below a little bit of miniature pantry tainment storage. And then that brings us right back over here to the dinette where we started our little adventure. So, you know, if you're looking for a combination of sleeping, lightweight, good towability, lots of storage, Freedom Express is a brand that delivers. And it bears mentioning real quick that all of the windows do open for airflow. I've got the nightshades drawn, but you can see that those are sliding max airflow windows. Also, uh, along with the central air conditioning, uh, you have really a good amount of control over how you distribute the air because all of these vents can be turned and opened and closed individually. Um, Jayco does that quite a bit, which is something I like. They're not the only brand, but you know, they do that. Uh, also, in addition to the carpetless slide, the, the flooring in these is unchanged and that's a good thing because it has had a carpetless floor with no floor vents. If you're going to do that like 99% of us do, spring, summer, fall, run around, maybe a little bit early spring, late fall, this camper is going to be fine for you. Big pocket of space under there also very handy for like big duffel bags for the kiddos as if this thing needed more storage. Both bunks have their own light and big breeze window and that's another thing is they put good windows in here. And uh, up top, you can see that we have both household and USB outlets for the big kids who are probably up top to keep themselves entertained on a rainy day. Now, this door up here is slotted a little bit. And I mean, even as tall as I am, it's, it's six inches above my head. There's no loss of privacy there. But it's that way intentionally so that if you want to leave this fan running, you need air exchange to exhaust the, we will say, aromas. <coughs> that come out of the uh, bathroom area. You wanna make sure that that gets flushed out of here and none of it back feeds into the living room, obviously. Now, uh, the shower is nice and tall. And as you can see, it is goofball approved. I can fit up into that thing, no sweat whatsoever. You can see the shower surround paneling and skylight, obviously. The uh, handy little towel hanging rack over here. Uh, also a neat little shelf to keep some like body washes and soaps and things. Corner medicine cabinet on an angle bias. And I like to point that out so that you can actually stand in the bathroom to brush your teeth, shave your face, do whatever. You don't have to be standing with your backside out in the hallway, which is not fun when you haven't gotten dressed yet. <laughs> Mostly everybody else's problem though, right? And porcelain foot flush stool. So uh, you've got a, a, a bigger toilet here, which I think at a, a guy my size has plenty of leg room. And I, I mean, there's, there's really not anything in this bathroom that I, I feel really needs to be different. Maybe you feel like changing a shower head or upgrading a vent fan, but the good news, Halo RV Parts and Service Center, we can do all that stuff for you before you even take her home. Getting a good look at that carpetless slide as we come out of the bunk bathroom area. Uh, I'm gonna try to get you a good look at everything. We've already ma mainly looked at the kitchen, but I want you to get to see it nice and clean and closed up. But first, if we take a look here, you can see there are sliding pocket privacy doors for the entertainment center. Additionally, the entire entertainment center spins. By that, I mean the TV and the entertainment unit below it. It's all in one spinning housing. And that is the Freedom Express difference, the attention to detail. You can tell these are made by people who camp not just an engineer. I say that all the time in the Freedom Expresses. I'll probably say it again later because it's true. You've got your entertainment unit so that if it is spinning around to face the bedroom, your remote control can actually operate it so you don't got to get up and down and in and out. You still have a handy phone charging station. We already, I think we talked about our clutter cut and shoe garage down below. It's the details that separate these things and Freedom Express is a brand. They're just, they're so good with the touches. Like, like, 
this this it's it probably cost two cents if that but the little drawstring uh anchor for the uh kitchen window over here just little stuff like that that freedom express is still doing from decades ago that so many other brands have quit doing it it might cost two cents but freedom express is not a brand that's going to trip over two cents they're a brand that's going to make sure that it is, you know, function, fashion, perfect balance of the two. Um, up here in the bedroom, you can see you've obviously got that front windshield. Also has its own shade, so you can have privacy if you want it. Or you can open it to see out. Or you can get the lighter, whatever you want to do. You can see you got your reading spot lamps. And I, I think that this really helps uh, show the fact that if you do want to be reading in one spot and not disturbing your partner in the other, they are truly like spot lights. They're not a flood light like the ceiling is over here. Cross breeze windows on both sides, plus a vent above the bed to give us more light and airflow. Another place it would be easy to add or upgrade a vent fan. Um, you know, we're, we're looking at storage options here. You can see how you've got your dual hanging closets, your full storage above. But one of the cool things is what happens with the beds now in the Freedom Expresses. Because this thing says move, bed, get out the way. It, it, it straight gets out the way. You've got storage pocket below. You've got like shoe garage kind of type space. But both sides of the bed now include these large dresser drawers. So, I mean, you can really go some, go pretty hog wild socks underwear in three eighths plywood boxing in these things. And of course, those things get out of the way themselves to create yet another little kind of shoe pocket space. And you can see that there's easy reach outlets, household and USB, beside the bed. And that's both sides of the bed, by the way. And once again, remember the TV and the entertainment unit both spin around to face the bedroom. And really, now that I'm looking at this, I think one of those things, those little pockets, would be absolutely perfect for things like your remote control. So you also wouldn't have to worry about forgetting them somewhere. Beautiful weather today. You'll see just how bright and shiny it is when we get to the back corner. We're all backlit right now. It's like Mother Nature goes, <laughs> let the sun shine. And frankly, I'll take it because in only a couple months, I'm sure we're going to start hitting snowflake season here in the Midwest, and that's never fun. Uh, automotive front windshield. Back, back to the camper. I'm not very good at transitional material, by the way. Uh, automotive front windshield up front. That is different from a side window. It is a higher gray glass uh, you know, basically going to be very hard to mess it up. One of the questions we'll get every now and then is, couldn't a stone hit that and break it? Theoretically, sure. But I've only seen one instance of that in the last four or five years. And I've seen far more instances of people's vehicles windshields getting cracked by stones in the meantime. So it is just not something that typically happens. It's akin to a lightning strike. Power tongue jack used to be optional and everybody would put it on so freedom express is like, okay we're gonna quit messing around we're just gonna standardize that so that it's just no longer an issue now uh behind my battery box over here is the spare tire and dual battery prep station you'll get your first battery included at no additional charge when you purchase from halo rv by the way we don't do hidden fees we make sure the rv has everything it needs and you have all the knowledge you need to operate successfully before you leave but the spare tire up front keeps the bumper open and that also helps in, uh, enhance towing stability because weight in front of the axle tows a little bit better than weight in the back. Now these have had a 12 volt disconnect switch for about a season and a half now, but it's very, very handy now that we have begun to option on these 12 volt compressor refrigerators onto these things so that when the RV is in storage, you can guarantee that you're hard killing everything and phantom load is not eating that battery alive. Now, all of our windows you can see are UV tinted. Not everybody in the lightweight world is doing that. Uh, Non-tinted windows, they'll let more light in. They make the RV look bigger and nicer, but did you think it wasn't bright enough and light enough and good enough looking inside? I don't believe you'd still be watching the video at this point if you felt that. Um, then again, you'd probably be watching longer if you put me on mute, right? That's my wife does. I see her with the TV remote sometimes going, uh, 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 trying to put me on mute. And frankly, I don't blame her. Really rough textured slide wall. And that, along with a very uncommon T-shaped wiper seal, which you see there's actually two uh, wiper seals here, plus a bulb seal either in or out to give you two points of contact on the slide at all times, and three when it's all the way in or out, which is 99.9% .9 of the time, to really make sure you don't have water intrusion, which is a very flowery way of saying leak. Down below, 
standard, you have a heated enclosed underbelly, and that will give you some good extended season capability. If it's going to dip below freezing tonight, come back tomorrow, you'll be fine here. On the back side of that slide out, we have all of our hookups like the black flush, the shower, separate cable and satellite hookups, which is nice. And just behind the tire, right below the skirt line is where your uh, sewer hookups would be located. They're still using a full tubular bumper on this, which can be a handy place to store the old stinky slinky. It is amazing. A lot of brands have begun to lop those off. There can be benefits to it. I understand why some brands have done it, but it is still a useful thing to have on there. We're gonna get up on that fully walkable roof in just a minute. Uh, she is backup camera ready. Uh, the ladder, kind of like the power tongue jack, used to be optional. And finally, uh, after about all of the dealerships were ordering with uh, ladders on the back frame, so I said, okay, okay, we get the idea. We're, we're just gonna standardize that to make life easier in everybody. It makes the ordering process, the buying process, everything simpler. And that's what I love about these. You can tell this is made by somebody who goes camping, not just an engineer who drew it up on a chalkboard. And just like the rest of the camper, you pop the awning open, you get over here at Party Central on the patio side, and uh, it is, it's just packed. It's just packed with cool stuff. Note that the awning is about as big as they could possibly make it, starting all the way at the rear wall, going all the way up to that uh, in front of the uh, bedroom window for some rainy day airflow potentially, uh, without conflicting with that extra large front pass-through uh, compartment that we'll see in just a minute here. Now they have uh, reintroduced something into their camp kitchen and basically re-improved it. They've taken everything they've done in a camp kitchen and combined it and made it the best it's ever been yet. So another of the utensil drawers out here, more sealed edge counter space, a real sink with a real drain, and this entire section slides out once again like it used to. So it's actually far easier to access than it was last season. Now, if you're noticing, there is actually a bullet latch right there, so you can make sure it stays in place so you don't accidentally, you know, knock the thing in or out. But when you're not using it, it just slides right out of the way, and then again, it can lock in place. A little mini fridge outside. This fridge, plus the fridge inside, gives us about 13 cubic foot of cold storage. That is rivaling fifth wheels, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Freedom Expresses include these handy two foot by four foot outdoor picnic tables, and what's really cool about those is if we come over here to the new and improved grilling station, if you're paying attention compared to last year, you realize that the uh, last year's they had that little Coleman camp grill, and they've gotten rid of that. They have included an LP Quick Connect, and they've even gone up to the Suburban 17-inch uh, griddle series, which, by the way, is actually literally a subcontracted Blackstone. It's not a Blackstone, because it's not built by Blackstone, but it's made from Blackstone designs. Now, what's neat about this is it also, very similar to like Rockwood, uh, includes this handy little side prep table, which is perfect for drinks or like say a little meat platter if you are cooking something. And you can see how it does stay far enough away from the RV that heat from the cooker near the RV's sidewall won't be an issue. But the cool part is if you're still spooked about it, it doesn't have to stay there. Because that griddle doesn't have to stay only on that mount. One of the cool things about this is it does include its own handy little kind of foot pegs still. If I can get in here uh, behind the sunshine, there we go. So if you want to sit it on this free-floating table or the campsite picnic table, if one's provided, you can do that. You can really kind of move it around anywhere you want. And getting that out of the way makes it a little bit easier to see the wide stance stability axles that are part of the secret of the sauce that helps these Freedom Expresses tow so nicely. So, you know, it's an Asdell lightweight that also has the wider axles. And this is about as short of an RV as you'll ever find those on. So it's about as good of a towing RV as you're really going to be able to get. Um, the uh, stable steps here, those are something that we like to apply pretty much whenever we have the opportunity here at Halo RV, especially on a bunk model where you got those little kiddo bodies bouncing around like little meteors, you know, crashing into things. Uh, outside TV hookups over here. Next to the uh, Drunken Uncle Leash Latch slash Bottle Opener, which also is probably how he became the Drunken Uncle, keep that in mind. Uh, compared to previous generations, Freedom Express Ultralights now have anti-slam uh, friction hinge doors so that if the kiddos or the wind oof, really gets a hold of that thing, it just doesn't slam shut. Uh, we have probably kind of peeked at it at this point to some degree, but magnet holdbacks right here below Pete the Coachman Dog, that's his name by the way, so this is just easy one hand operational. Getting down here, we can see a huge pass-through. And a lot of brands do things like this now, 
Freedom Express was the, the first ultralight to really just say, instead of ultralights always being smaller and making people have to make accommodations, what if we made them full size? But things like Asdell helped us offset that weight. Like you see the double-sided aluminum uh, welding all, all over here, double welded aluminum structure rather. A lot of brands in your pastures, you'll see them cut down to one side aluminum welding. It's just those extra little details that help those Freedom Expresses long term. And if you're noticing over here, you see that she's all prepped for a charge controller standard from the factory now. That's because Freedom Expresses are all also standard prepped for roof solar. So if you do want to spend some more time off grid, uh, if you want, you know, a little bit of battery tending action, you know, it's, it's very capable. And by the way, it only takes uh, like a 100 watt solar panel to keep that 12 volt fridge running for something like just over two weeks. Uh, I got some testing on that from Furion. Recently put a video out on that. If you uh, have any trouble locating it, uh, give us a call and we'll send you a link to it. The uh, WineGuard Air 360 antenna system, that's a big black bucket. That's your TV antenna, but it's also pre-prepped for a uh, WineGuard gateway signal access, uh, signal repeater, basically router built into your camper, like Rockwood calls theirs the Wi-Fi Ranger. Basically same thing, it's just prepped for that from a different supplier. And this little black hockey puck is your best friend. Because days like today where we're just sitting in direct sun exposure up here on this fully walkable roof, uh, you know, you're going to generate heat. Now, the white roof membrane uh, organically helps shed a lot of that heat, but that little vent right there will help keep heat out of the attic, which is the gap between the interior ceiling panel and the exterior decking that I'm walking on to help keep this RV much cooler and more comfortable. You can see they are not skimpy with their sealants on these. This is, guys, this is a model that, now, this is personally, I, I'm just going to share my personal views right now. This is a model that I've long had in my personal top three if I were getting an RV for my family today. And I think I can say with confidence with the updates like the fridge and the carpet list and all the little things they put into this, I think this is my number one nerd preferred floor plan for my family right now today. This trailer, this brand, this generation, I think is the, one of the best things I've ever personally seen for my own personal use. Now, that's very subjective, that's my view. But guys, I have confidence in this brand. I, I feel they're doing it right. And if you're not sure, uh, you know, what to look at, if, if like the RV industry of shopping is confusing to you, know that a person who's spent over a decade doing this feels like this is the one for them. So that, that has my level of confidence. I hope you appreciate that. And anything else you need, give us a call over there because whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, or if it's trades or finance or RV delivery, Halo RV, we only do everything with the exception, of course, of hidden dealer fees, those we, we don't like any more than you do. So we don't do them. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halo camping, everyone.